Good morning. Thank you guys for joining us. I forgot all my scrunchies in my bedroom. So I'm using this little clip right here. Waiting for Karen to pop on. We are having an exciting class. If you need any um, equip, if you need to know the equipment. Oh, here's a request. Oh, that's not Karen. Um, I'm using the Bella Bangles. If you have ankle weights, you can also use um, a Pilates ball if you want. I'm not using one because I don't have one. But if you do have one, go ahead. If you don't, don't worry about it. You can do this with no equipment and we'll be saving this to IG Live. I'm I'm still speaking quietly because Nick is still sleeping. He works really late, sleeps a little in, so. Um, okay, we'll just wait here. Thanks for all the hearts, I appreciate it. Okay, Karen joined. I'm excited for this. I haven't done one in a while with Karen. Good morning. Hi. Hello, you guys. Hi. I wish I could be there with you. Oh, we wish you could be here too. So welcome everyone to another Bar Pilates Fusion. So excited to be with you guys today. We're in Toronto, weather's not so great. We're back indoors, unfortunately. And mm -hmm. you guys are all doing well in New York and around. Yes. Uh, oh. Dale, we love you. Oh, we, I love you guys. I miss you. Oh my God, the mask. I know, I've gotten used to wearing a mask though inside. I'm not gonna lie, like working out, but um. I'm so glad we could do this today, and I'm so happy that everyone's joining in, and it's going to be a killer class. Karen, if you haven't taken Karen's class, they're incredible, and um, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. So um, for those of you that haven't done this class before, we do it with minimal equipment, so you can do it with nothing at all. Um, today, we're going to be using ballot bangles, so just weights on our ankles, and um we also use just the seven inch Pilates ball. That being said, you can work. And then if you have any um, light you want to use throughout the class, um, it'll just sort of add to, to your workout, but absolutely you can do it. So without further ado, we are going to get started. So coming to the top of your mat, we're just going to start with a nice warm up. So inhale, reach your arms up to the ceiling, take a deep breath in, waking up the body, and then exhale, hinge forward, swan dive, coming all the way down to the floor. We're going to stay here for a moment, take hold of opposite elbows, and just gently sway side to side, feeling the stretch behind the leg. Shake your head no, and shake it yes, soften the knees, and you're going to roll up bone by bone, coming all the way up to standing. Is the music okay? Can you hear it? Yeah. Okay. All good. Now reach the arms out. We're going to do this a few more times. Half sun salutation. So hinge forward, swan dive, coming to the mat. Once your fingertips arrive, roll up, bone by bone, nice and slow. One more. Inhale to reach. Exhale, open and hinge forward, long straight spine. We're going to stay here in this forward fold. Soften both your knees and go ahead and step the right leg back. Do you have that knee aligned with the ankle, drawing up through the belly button towards your spine, nice and light with the fingertips here. Find a little pulse, just a little pulse here. So finding that stretch through the right hip. Try and pull that left hip back and then reaching forward with your head. We're gonna plant the right hand down firmly to the mat and go ahead and rotate. Lifting that left arm nice and high. Good. Take a deep breath in. We're going to circle that arm around, just warming up that shoulder. Good. Big circle. Good. Reach forward, up and around, opening up. Good. Stay here. Both hands to the floor. Find that little pulse. Bend into that. Step the right foot forward. So you're just squaring the hips. Pull that left bone back, finding that stretch behind the leg, a little lift and tap, kind of rocking back a little bit. Good. And early into that left foot, step the right foot forward and go ahead and step the left leg back. You're finding that right 
on the other side. Again, knee to heel alignment, right hand comes onto the knees. You begin to turn your body, looking up, reach that right arm to the sky, almost lean back. Good, circle that arm forward, shoulder mobility, warming up, nice and gentle. Reach forward, up and around, and one more like this. Forward, up and around, both hands to the mat, little pulse again. Good, warming up that left. We're here for eight, seven, good, six, three, two, on one, soften the back knee, spring it forward. Find a straight leg position, both front and back leg, and then just a little lift and tap of that front foot, lengthening the body, lengthening from the top of the head to the tail. Good, finding that stretch behind the leg, and then soften into that right knee. Plant both your hands firmly, step left, step right back. Find that high plank position. We're gonna do a little bit of body shifting, so shift your body forward and then back. So as you push forward, your head is lifted. You're sending your gaze beyond your mat. Try to avoid dropping your head down, bringing your chin towards your chest, but rather create space between your chin and chest. And then continue to draw your belly button up towards your spine, and your body's parallel to the floor. Strong through the arms, pressing firmly through the hands, and then contracting through the shoulder blades. You're not collapsing your chest down. So warming up the abdomen, we're gonna push forward and hold. Good, start to slowly move the hips up towards downward dog, and then slowly push forward. We'll do this just twice more. Up and back, hips. Good, and forward. Your last one, push up and back. Good, and now push forward, we're gonna hold here. Walk it down to the forearms, so take the forearms okay. down. But and again, parallel to the ground, up to your spine, little, little tiny. So you're going to go around. And then again, here, same concept as when we're in a high plank, pressing the forearms and the elbows away from the mat. You're not kind of collapsing like this into the mat, but rather you're protecting the shoulder blades, slightly rounding through the top. All right, four more in this direction. Let's go around for four. Really exaggerate the top part of the circle. So go up nice and high. Good. Your left. On one, other way. So circling, other direction. How are we doing, Dale? Good. This is so hard. <laughs> I'm fired. My abs are all fired up, though. Yes. All right. How's everyone else doing? Are you? Yeah, we're great. Good. On one hold, as though you're going in a side plank, you're going to bring your right hip down towards the mat. Little lift, up an inch, down an inch. Up, down, up, down. You have four more on this side. Go up for four. Three, two, on one, you're going to hold. Just hold. Good. And then move to center. Rotate to the other direction. Both your hips are down, but your left hip is low to the floor. We're going to do a little lift, up and down. Push away from the ground, strong through the arms. All right, four more here. Let's go up four, three, two, on one, find center, tap the knees down. Whew. Karen, I always forget how much your class is burning. Belly tilt, elbow, send your gaze to the sky. One more, inhale, full round. Exhale, drop. Nice. And you are going to curl your toes to grip the mat. Find downward dog. Push up and back. Good. Slowly walk your hands towards your feet. Walk your feet. Stop in your knees. Roll all the way up. Nice. Let your head relax. So if you guys have weights, hand weights, and you want to use your hand weights, you can go ahead and grab them. You can even place the bow angles on your, on your wrist. Have a second set, or just holding on to really light weights. We're going to start at the top of the mat, and then so the left foot is going to come to the center of the mat. The right come off the mat. So bringing the right foot off the mat. We're going to come bring the hands to the heart center. If you're holding weights, you can go ahead and um, hold them at heart center. That's still. 
So you're gonna drop the right knee down, find a deep line there. Good, body shift forward. So all that weight into that left leg, down through that heel, the toe should be nice and light. Go ahead and rainbow the back leg off your mat on the diagonal. Yes, so it's now to the left. Left knee stays bent the whole time. Go ahead and bend into that right knee. Get low. Hold. We're going super slow. Push forward all the weight into that left leg, rooting down through that left heel. Rainbow the back leg over to the right and bend it down. How are we doing there? Good. Forward all the weight into that left leg. Fire up the glute. Rainbow the leg on the diagonal and go ahead, find that deep lunge. So creating a 90 degree with the front and the back leg. Body shift forward, straighten the back leg. Rainbow, up, tap, yes. Take it down, good, super slow, push forward. Root down through the heel, rainbow the back leg straight. On the angle, take it down, nice. Body shift forward, draw the belly button up to your spine. Rainbow, tap, bend. You got it. Push. Rainbow. Tap. We're going to do one more. Bend. Push. Rainbow. Tap. Good. We're going to hold it when we get onto that curtsy angle. Right here. Hold it. This angle. All right. I want you to bend the back knee. Hover that knee close to the floor. Body shift forward. Straighten the back leg. And then go ahead and bend that knee again. So it's kind of like you're rocking forward and back. Go ahead, push forward all the way into that left glute, left quad, drop it back down. Yes, body shift forward, bend it back down. Let's go four more like this. Push forward, belly to spine, draw in. Yes, shoulders down and away. Push forward and down. Two more like this. Two. One, right here, I want you to hold it, little pulse, down, for eight, yes, for seven, six, get low, five, your last three, two, one, stand tall. Okay, mm. good. We're going to go ahead, start the other side, how are we doing, Laura? Great? Okay, good. So, the right, the, sorry, the left toe comes off your mat on the diagonal, come down deep into that lunge. 90 degree angle front and back leg. Go ahead and body shift forward. All the weight goes into that right leg. Rainbow the leg off your mat. Good. Drop it down. Body shift forward. Rainbow off to the left. Drop it down. Body shift. Now here I want you to focus really gluing that heel down. Up and over. Bend down. Good. Body shift. Rainbow, don't forget about pulling in your abdominals. Shoulders are down and away from your ears. Go ahead. Push. Rainbow. On this rainbow, the leg is completely straight. We're activating that back hamstring and glute. Front glute, front quad is feeling a lot of engagement here. A lot of weight bearing. We're using our own body weight here. The weight that we're wearing on our ankles is really minor, so a lot of this work is coming from your own body weight, your own intention. Tap, bend the knee, push, rainbow, good. We have three more. Hover that knee down. Nice, you guys. Push forward. Yeah, looking great. Jordan, you're looking terrific. We're going to hold that curtsy angle right here. Go ahead, rainbow the leg, curtsy angle. Hips are straight. Drop that back knee to a hover. All we're doing is the body shifting. Push, the back leg goes straight. Bend, the back knee bends. Good. Push. It kills. <laughs> Looks like not much, but... Looks like nothing, but it feels like everything right now. Totally. All right, push all the way to that front heel. Dig it down. Root down. Good. If you're not wearing ankle weights, you are going to feel quite a bit here. Bend the back knee down. Push. Nice. Really root down. Press with the heel to the ground. Push. And down. Two more like this. Push. 
Good. Your last one. We're going to hold that knee down. Push. Right here. Hold. Pulse down. Eight. Seven. Dig the heel down. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Stand tall. Good. Shake. Good. Relax. Yes, we're going to save this. Okay. Answering some questions. All right, you guys. Little second position turn out. So you're going to step your heels wide. Maybe your heels are kind of on the inside edge of your mat and the toes are off the mat. You're going to take a breath in. Reach the arms up. Exhale, come to standing. Good. This should feel good. In and then exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to hold that deep second position plie right here. Good. You can bring your hands just in towards your waist. You can have your hands on your waist if you like. Little pulse down. If you are using hand weights and you want to feel a little bit of arm work right here, bring your arms out in front of you like you're holding a platter. Slight micro bend through the elbows. Elbows are off the body. Good. Get low. Belly to spine. Notice if you're sticking your butt out, find a slight posterior tuck. Pushing your pubic bone forward, pressing the knees away. Continue to root down through the heels. We're going to add that little micro bend for you down. We're going to bend in, extend. Everyone holding weights, little bend and extend. Good. On the extension, I want you to really reach your arms forward. Keep your arms shoulder width. Good. Little bend, press. Bend. I want you to feel inner thighs. So as you come up, really squeeze the inner thighs up. Squeeze the glutes. Your last three right here. Two. On one, I want you to hold that deep plie. Press the weights together. Press your palms together. Heart center. Little pulse to finish here. Your last ten. Find your depth. Your lowest working plie. Good. Get down there. For five. Four. Three, two, we're gonna fold right here. Fold. Good. Straighten the legs. Take any time out. Go ahead, walk your hands out. Step the right foot on your mat. Step the left leg on your mat. Five, downward dog, pedal up your heel. Good. Tap your knees down lightly and find your tabletop position. So reposition here where your hands are directly underneath your shoulder, knees are underneath your hips. Draw your belly button up towards your spine. So go ahead, we're going to start with the right, sorry, the left leg up. I'm going to angle my body just so you can see. Okay, your hips. I won't stay like this. So you have your knee in line with your hips. So if you kind of look at my alignment, my hip bone, my knee are in the same alignment. So my knee is not hovering down here, and it's not in this deep dancer pose back bend. So really having it in line with your hip, and then finding containment through the abdomen. So pulling up so you're not arching back. Dale, that looks perfect. And it's a good angle for our viewers. So you're going to go up an inch and down an inch. Up an inch. Stay on that diagonal. Go up and down. Up and down. So noticing if you're starting to feel any tension or discomfort in the low back, maybe don't lift the leg as high. And then really focus on pulling the belly button out towards your spine. You want to feel this work in your hamstring glute insertion, not in the low back. And then if your head is kind of dropped, see if you can lift it up. Find that alignment from the top of the head to the tailbone, long straight spine. And then noticing the arms, if you're sort of collapsing, can you strengthen the arms and keep them engaged? Right here, lift up, hold. Find that little tiny pulse. Like you're just poking your toe up to the ceiling. Good. Are you guys starting to feel hamstring glute? Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. For four, for three, on one, I want you to hold. Go ahead and lower the opposite forearm. So it's the right forearm. Left leg is up. The forearm is now parallel to the top of the mat. Go ahead and turn out with that left knee. Little lift. You're going to lift. And drop an inch. Lift and drop. Good. Lift and drop. Now lift that knee up to shoulder height. Really pick it up. Good. You are going to feel the support leg. So the leg that's down. Yes, you are going to feel it as your working leg. Good. Now lift up and hold. Little circle. 
it's your um, supporting leg, but it will start to feel like your working leg. It's not your working leg. Little circle for eight, for seven. Good. And now hold that leg up. Go ahead and extend the leg straight out. We're going to finish here with a little pulse. Up to seven, for eight, seven. Really point through that toe. And then notice if you're falling over to that right side, can you send a little bit of weight into the left hand? Your last three, two, on one, I want you to rainbow the leg back behind you on the diagonal. Come up onto both your hands. Last thing, you're going to lift up straight, tap it down on the diagonal. So it's going over the right calf, onto the floor. Yes, Dale, tap the floor. Go up on the diagonal. You got it. Tap over the right calf, cross the body, and lift up. Almost there. Let's do eight more like this. Tap, cross, for eight. Strong through the arms, and then find symmetry in the shoulders. So notice if that kind of right shoulder is down, can you align them so they're both at the same level? Good, your last four right here. Jor, how you doing? Great. You look great. <laughs> Good, two more, you guys. Last one, hold it up, little tiny pulse to finish. This is it. Hmm. Kind of pulsing straight, but a little bit on the diagonal, getting it to that glute knee, the muscle at the side of the bum, your last four, three, two, pull it in. Good. Oh. All right, exhale, drop the legs, put your tail on the Find neutral. All right, go ahead, lift the right leg up. We're going to drop down onto that left forearm. Good, and then find a little external rotation so that knee is slightly open. Exactly. Now you're gonna lift up and down. Up and down. Good. Up and down. Good, we're actually gonna come up. I think we started with a straight up. <laughs> Sorry. Straight mm -hmm. up. Knee is in line with your hip. Good, press up. And down, good. And then watching the low back bend on the side. So notice if you're getting into that arch through the back, the knee is in line with your hips. Your arms are nice and strong. Good. Let's do four more, and then we'll go into little tiny pulses and then the external rotation. Good. Your last two. On one, hold that height. Find a little tiny pulse, like you're trying to poke your toe up to your ceiling without going into an exaggerated back bend. So finding containment through the abdomen, strong through the arms, not collapsing the chest. Good, hold it up. Now lower onto that opposite forearm. Find that external rotation. Good, little circle. You're gonna just circle that hip around. Good. And now hold that knee lifted, little pulse, up to the ceiling, down an inch. Good, up and down, up and down. Notice if all that weight is going into that left side. Can you maybe evenly distribute some weight? Send it to the right hand. Good, continue to draw the abdomen up towards your spine. We'll do three more, and then we're gonna extend that leg out to the side in two. On one, hold it up. Go ahead, extend the leg side laterally. Little pulse, up, up, up. That's it, you guys. Yes, yes, go higher. Your last five, four, three, two, one. Pull it in. <sighs> Back just for a moment, child's pose. Go ahead, take a deep cleansing breath in. Exhale, come up. You're gonna go right into abs, you guys. So go ahead, grab your ball. We are gonna place it this time mid back. So kind of like right up there, not at the base of your spine, middle back. And you're gonna come down. I'm just gonna um, show you guys this angle. So this angle, mid back. Continue to wait to keep them on. Sitting up nice and tall. So kind of use your hands behind your knees to help you not collapse into the ball. You're gonna go ahead and lift the right leg up. Go ahead and lift the left leg up. Take your hands by your side if that feels a little bit better. Right toe is going to tap the mat, bring it back up. 
Left toe tap and up. Right toe tap. And you can actually do this without a ball. Tap and lift. Good. Tap and lift. Tap. We're going to add a little lean back here. So lean back, tap, come up. Lean back, come up. Good. That's it, Dale. So you're on your hands, nice and light. So you're not really using the floor very much. Exactly. And experiment with coming to your fingertips, maybe experiment with maybe floating the hands, bringing the hands to heart center. With ankle weights, it's definitely going to feel more challenging weight on the legs. As you extend the leg, I want you to lean back. I want you to tap the heel to the ground, come back up. We're going a little slower. Tap, come up. You got it. Tap, one more each side. Tap, one. Good. Lower the feet down. We're going to come all the way down to a back. No ball. So lying all the way down. Can you guys see me in the video? Um, maybe shift it down slightly. A little forward, yeah. Can you see her? Yep, just a little forward I would do it. Perfect. Oh, I'm just gonna hold it for this part. All right, oh. so you're gonna go ahead, bring your hands behind your head. Nod your chin towards your chest. Go ahead and come all the way off the mat. So the shoulder blades are lifted. I want you to draw the belly button down towards your spine. Right leg comes to table, left leg joins. Find that alignment, knee in line with hip. They're not closer, shins parallel to the ceiling. This should be work holding this position. Belly yeah. back down, head is lifted. Go ahead, inhale, right foot comes to the mat, tap it down, exhale, slowly pull it back up. Inhale, left leg taps the floor, Exhale, slowly draw it back up. So moving nice and slow. You're inhaling, the foot taps, the belly is down. Good, notice if you're having a lot of arch of your back lifting, can you pull down a little bit more? Good, we're gonna go a little slower. Right foot, you're gonna tap it down here. Lift the head up a little higher. Do two little taps. So one, two, bring the leg back up. Really nice, left leg, tap, one, Two, bring it back up. You got it. Right foot taps once, twice, pull it back up. Good. Left foot. One, two, back up. We're going to do one more each side. Tap once, belly down, back up. Last one. Tap one, two, coming both legs right here. Let's go. Both legs down. Tap once, twice, and up. Good. Tap. One, twice, and up. So on the up, that's the work. Belly down, right here, belly down. Pull, tap once, twice. Slowly draw the knees back. I want you to go slow on the up. So we go down. One, two, slowly retract the knees. Feel the weight of your legs as you draw them back up. So one, two, slow. Back. We're gonna do this twice more. One, Two, pull back. Your last one right here. One, two, back. 90 degree angle. Little up. Head, I want you to move the knees one inch in towards you. In. Find that exhalation. Pull. Pull. You're not at your space between your chin and chest. The belly continues to pull down towards your mat. And knees are moving. For eight, right here. For seven, yes, six, five, four, keep going. Your last three, two, on one, you're gonna lower your head, hug your knees in towards you. Take a deep in breath in the nose, and then exhale, let it go. You guys feel that? And oh, yeah, that was intense. You guys are all done. Ah. Come to seated. Good. Go ahead. Bring your legs around. Come to tabletop position. I'm going to take you through a quick pull down. 
Inhale, round right side. Draw your belly button in and out. And then exhale, drop your belly, tilt your tailbones. Finding that stretch through the abdomen, through the low back. But if this doesn't feel like you, modify it by pulling a little bit. So open up your legs here so they're almost mat width. Let the legs just be passive. Good. Stay a deep cleansing breath in through the nose. And then add, pulling going to lower your chest all the way down to the mat, keeping your hands underneath the shoulders. Take one breath in here, hug the elbows into the and then exhale, baby cobra, so lift up halfway. Good, and then exhale to lower. We're going to do this twice more. Inhale, halfway with baby cobra, pressing the palms to the mat. Good, exhale, next one, you're going to your full version of up the dog, straightening the arms right here, straightening the arms, so you the thighs off the mat. I mean, 30 minutes flew by, and I feel like that was a really incredible workout. Like, I just felt so good. Yay. Amazing. Amazing. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. And obviously, like, I'm doing a lot of outdoor workouts in New York, so I haven't been doing lives as much, but I'm sure once things start getting into the winter and I don't know what studios are opening, we should do this more um, because I know everyone loves it, and it's just such a great way to, like, I feel connected through these lives and I just feel like it's so nice and they're just so good so and I'll be saving this IGTV great and if you guys have any special requests just keep them coming DM us DM me and um, so great guys again today so have a great day stay healthy I love you all bye. thank you so much bye guys